All right, so here today we have a sling box with um, shorts that appears to be shortened. When you plug in power, basically the power supply just kind of goes on and off. And um, on this one, the damage is kind of obvious when you open it up. It's like right here. I don't know, let me try to get the camera in focus. Where you see this delaminated area, I actually cleaned it up, but it was looking all um, just dark and you know, just burned up. Basically, whenever you have something like that, first clean it up because uh, carbon can be conductive, and that's the first thing you do. And basically, what happens? You have power going in here, in this thing, and then it goes through this um, inductor. Let me check real quick. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's marked with FB. FB stands for ferrit, ferrit bead, which is basically just an inductor. It goes through that. Then on one side, this is actually a dual inductor, one side is power, the other side is ground. And normally you wouldn't see that, normally it's just, uh, just a separate, just separate inductor just for power, and ground is always connected you know, to the rest of the board for ground. But I guess this one's just dual, you know, to keep down noise. So okay, so basically what happens is when I measure this, and let me try to get the camera position over here. Sorry about that, guys. I was, didn't have the camera adjusted properly. So, okay, back, we're here at the power port right here. And you have one, one connector where power goes in. And then, what am I looking? There you go. And then another place where uh, ground comes in. So, basically, what you do is, first thing, test if this, this is shorted because obviously this area looks pretty burned. You take your multimeter and you put it on the either continuity or resistance setting, doesn't matter which really. Um, I guess you have it on the continuity, you hear the, you know, the little beep, beep setting, that's this. So now I'll pretty much you know, just check it you know, across this to see if it's shortened and it kind of beeps, but it stopped. And um, I'm not showing the multimeter right now, but it's showing 42, about 42 ohms and that's that's pretty low actually for uh you know for an imp, for an input power even though it's only a five volt source you know normally you would actually will appear open circuit will appear short circuit at first but will go up the resistance will climb up so this since this is a dual coil or a dual inductor you have one side from here like this is the ground and it passes through this side on these two pins over here and then on this side you have power coming in here, passing through here, and you know, going over here. And you can see this is actually separated, and this, this little thing separates the ground and the power. Now what you have over here too is a diode. This is a protection diode right here. If you don't have the dual, dual inductor or, you know, sometimes you just have a, normally you have a single inductor, and what you have here is a diode that protects stuff. Like if, let's say, you, you insert a power supply, the positive and negatives in reverse, this dial will short over here, so it will protect, you know, the rest of the board from going bad. And pretty much you can just test that, you know, same way, you know, check the resistance across the diode, and if it's the same both ways, if it's pretty low, usually in the under, under the home, 100 ohms range, then you probably have a problem, you should remove the diode. And um, I'm going to check across this one too. And it's actually showing the same resistance as it was for the VCC and ground. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that the diode is shorted because this is a dual coil and what I suspect is happening is probably the dual coil is just it just has the VC and the ground shorted. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this coil with a soldering iron and test it out of circuit and if that's the problem then obviously we can just replace the coil or the inductor and if that's not it then we remove the diode and pretty much that's how we work our way to the rest of the board and I'll show you if there's any other problems with the rest of the board. But pretty much that's, if you have like short across the input, usually a protection diode, or a, or it could be also a capacitor, like one of these tandem capacitors over here, they they, they like to short out and they short out. It's, you, you'll notice, they, they, they probably burn the air pretty badly. So I'm gonna go and uh, remove that inductor, the dual inductor, this guy over here, and I'll get back to you guys. 
Alright, sling box, take two. Basically, I took out the diode and the little inductor that was over here, the dual inductor. And uh, actually, both of them tested good, so I put them back in. Well, I didn't put the, the dual inductor back in because the board was so damaged that there's just no way. You can actually kind of see the tracer very close around here. So, what I did is I just put two wires, you know, just shorts across where the inductor was supposed to be on the two lines on the ground and the positive. And, I mean, it's not the best way to do it, but you can do that in a pinch, really. So basically, you can just replace a inductor like this with a wire. If you have, like, a big inductor, you don't want to do that because those are for voltage regulation. But this one's just for uh, noise filtering on the input, so you can do that. Uh, diode test fine, so I put it back in. And pretty much we're back to the same problem before, unfortunately. And that's there's still 40 ohms across the input, which seems kind of low. And I tried it with one power adapter, and it was not trying, it wasn't even trying to power on the board. I tried it with a different power adapter, it's also, you know, same voltage, same current. And that one, the board still doesn't power on, but you can hear actually one of the, um, one of the voltage regulators on the sling box trying to power up. Like you can actually hear it um, click and buzz. So probably there's prop power going in there, and that's actually where I would guess the problem might be. But pretty much this is for a basic video, you know, just travel through like short up front. I, you know, this, this is what I can show you just for basics, you know, you, you know, check the dials and check, you know, if it's short on the, um, on the input. But if you, if the, if the protection dial is not the problem or the, you know, if you have a dual induction, that's not the problem, then it can get more complicated and you need to look at the voltage regulators. In this case, this board has several of them. And let me zoom out to show you. Okay, so. You can see one right over here. This is a voltage regulator. This is another one. Um, let's see. This is another one. This is actually a special type with the. This is actually the. This is a coil. And then you have you have two capacitors and you have um, MOSFET over here. And this is probably the controller for it. And basically, this is um, it's still a voltage regulator, but slightly different than the ones you saw before that. And that's the one that's actually buzzing. So maybe there may be something wrong here. I haven't checked yet.